Okay, so here's the haul. I need the wine nook Ooh, in the shot. So I thought I'd go ahead and just hang out here for a second because this is actually kind of peaceful. You guys, look at the fucking sky. So here are the Lazy Susans that I got from Amazon. <laughs> you. <laughs> Trader Joe's. Welcome to this week's vlog. I have no idea what we're doing because we actually don't really have any plans. So I figured it's been a little while. Why don't I do a little Trader Joe's haul for you guys. Show you guys some of the things that we always make sure to stock up on from Trader Joe's because honestly who doesn't love Trader Joe's? If you don't you're a psychopath. If you just don't live near one I feel for you. I'm not gonna hold that against you. But first thing that I got is this barbells protein cookies and cream bar i don't remember where i saw this but i saw it suggested somewhere and it sounded good so i'm gonna have it right now because i'm starving hi no this isn't for puppies this is not for dogs oh i thought it was gonna be crunchy but it's okay not mind blowing. I did pass on this one. I'm gonna finish it, but I thought it was gonna be amazing. I'm gonna lay everything out. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I got. Some of this is staples. Some of this is new stuff that I wanted to try. I feel like every single time I go to Trader Joe's, there's always like some new thing that just came out that I'd like to test out. But starting over here, I got some garlic herb chicken sausages. I love these chicken sausages. They are so, so freaking good, super flavorful. And it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I'm gonna make a little sausage kale soup that I've made before here on my channel. But I'll still give you guys a sneak peek of it tomorrow, but it's super yummy and I always get these sausages for it. Then I got this crushed frozen garlic. I've actually heard about this quite a few times and for some reason I could never find it. It was just in the refrigerator section. I don't know what was wrong with me. We usually get like the jarred minced garlic, but I hear that this one is actually better just because the minced garlic in the jar, it kind of like dulls the flavor a little bit versus this one is a lot fresher and is gonna give you a little bit more of a kick. So I'm gonna test this out tomorrow when I'm making the soup. Then this is new and I've been seeing this all over TikTok. This is their mini French baguettes. So 
picked up some of that figured that it would go really really good with the soup and then i've also been seeing this on tiktok as something new from trader joe's it's their sesame crusted hardwood smoked wild ahi tuna this looks so good i love ahi please don't mind the stain there i still need to wipe down the counters but yeah i was really really excited when i saw this so i think i'm gonna make some sushi rice and some asian pickled cucumber and then have this right on top with a little bit of soy sauce that sounds absolutely amazing for lunch and then this is one of my favorite snacks from them this is their sour cream and onion corn puffs they're so good these are basically pirate's booty but sour cream and onion and they are fire and i actually prefer these to pirate's booty then also for snacks i got their organic white truffle potato chips i love these truthfully my favorite potato chips are the russet ones but i like to rotate around amongst the different potato chip types there and for this trip i was just feeling the white truffle it does have a pretty good truffle flavor it's not overwhelmingly powerful but you do definitely taste it and then i also got some marzano tomatoes i love these i prefer these to cherry tomatoes i just feel like they're a little bit sweeter and for some reason with us these keep longer than regular cherry tomatoes which i also did get but i'll show you guys that in a second i also got one onion for the soup and then a cucumber like i said i'm going to do the asian pickled cucumbers with the ahi tuna and then here are the other tomatoes oh these are great tomatoes not cherry tomatoes my bad and then this is for spartacus this is one of his favorite treats these are the beef recipe rolls he loves these like he goes crazy over these and then i always forget to get this and i've always loved this like for years literally i've been obsessed with this and just i keep forgetting to buy it so i finally picked it up and it's the trader joe's soft strawberry licorice twist these are more similar to australian licorice as opposed to american licorice so just know that ahead of time but they are super super good but just remember they are candy so eat them in moderation and then i also just got some organic mayo that's for trevor eat mayo then i got two different freeze dried apple types the first one was the fuji apple slices over here i actually saw this on like a nutritionist blog on some of the best snacks at trader joe's and this sounded really really good and while i was trying to find this i also saw that they had honey crisp and i love honey crisp apples so i just went ahead and got both of them and then i got some cheese tortellini this is for the soup it's basically a sausage kale and tortellini soup got some roast beef for trevor and then finally some kale for the soup but yeah that's everything that i got from trader joe's for this week all right well i'm digging into these fuji apple slices i've been very excited about this let's see how they are mm. not bad i just wish the skin wasn't on them weird fact about me i don't like the skin on any fruit I even peel my grapes. It's the weirdest thing. It's because my grandma used to do it for me when I was like really, really little. And now as an adult, I don't like the skin on fruit. Super weird. I'm going to do a quick comparison to the Honeycrisp apples. Mmm. The Honeycrisp ones are a lot crunchier. Yeah, I think these are just freeze dried. The Fuji ones versus this one says crunch dried. Not sure what the process is that's different on those, but these are, these are just like a little bit sweeter, but still both are pretty good. So if you like apples and you want some freeze dried apples, I would recommend either of them. But anyways, I'm going to try to put all of this away because <sighs> we don't have a pantry. We still have to put everything in here. Update on the pantry though, now that I'm thinking about it. So we did get in touch with the company. They are sending us out some new side panels, but I looked it up in the companies in Canada. So I have no idea how long that's gonna take. I don't have a lot of faith that it's gonna come in time for this vlog, which we would love for that to be the case because we wanna have a new pantry sooner rather than later, but we will see. I don't know. I don't, I don't know guys. Okay, you guys, look at how gorgeous this is it looks like a freaking like cotton candy unicorn dream like so pretty i can't get over the colors on this like what 
it's time to start cooking the soup for tonight i've made it before on this channel so i'm not gonna do like a breakdown of like step by step how we're doing everything but i will run through the ingredients with you guys again really quick so starting off with some chicken stock i usually use low sodium but we got a huge pack of just like regular chicken stock from costco that i haven't even touched yet so i need to start digging into it we're also going to use from my Trader Joe's haul the cheese tortellini the garlic herb chicken an onion and then the kale i like that this is just pre-cut because then i can just dump it into the soup but the real star of the show that we're trying tonight is the mini french baguettes so i currently have the oven preheating to 400 degrees and once i'm at like a good spot with the soup we'll go ahead and put these in and we'll see how these are Okay, so the oven preheated, and I'm just gonna do one of these. I feel like I don't wanna batch cook these just because like how good is it gonna be the next day and stuff, so I'd rather like cook them fresh each time. So I'm just gonna get one out. Sorry, the onions and sausages are really loud. Here's what it looks like fresh out. Little tiny mini baguette, so cute. But, okay, what is the instruction say? So it says to cook it for four to six minutes until crisp and cooked thoroughly so i haven't seen reviews on this and everyone's saying to cook it longer because it doesn't get as cooked as most people want it to get in that four to six minutes so i'm going to start with six minutes then if it looks like i want a more golden crust because i do like my bread with a nice like medium brown golden crust i'm going to actually bump it up to the broiler and do that for like a couple of minutes and just keep checking back on it until it's to the color that i want I took a peek at the baguettes and it looks really, really good. I put it on the broiler after the initial six minutes for about five minutes. So a little tip if you guys decide to try this and look at how perfect that is. Nice and like a deep brown. That's how I like it personally. You may like it a little bit less. So I would say maybe if that's the case, just hit it in the broiler for like maybe three minutes or something, but perfect. And then I've just been having the soup sit here and simmer a little bit just so that all of the flavors will come together. And usually you guys saw like I cooked this in two different pans. Like I did the onions and sausages in one pan and then I transferred it over in here. Usually I don't do it like that. Usually I start with the sausages and onions in the pan, take it out, and then I'll cook the rest of the soup in it so that it gets those like brown bits of flavor at the bottom. But to save on time, I didn't do that. Also too, since I was gonna be using regular chicken stock, there was already gonna be a lot of flavor and sodium in the soup anyways. So I didn't think that it was necessary to do, but okay. Yum. And then I like to hit it with just a little bit of Parmesan cheese on the top. And then just some fresh ground black pepper. I didn't put any in the soup. I just kind of let it be its own thing, but just hit it with some at the end. And then my baguette. Oh, this looks like so perfect, but I do want to try this baguette. I want to see how good it is for a frozen baguette. Take off a piece here. Oh my God, that crust is gorgeous. And it's nice and like doughy inside. That looks really, really good. And it's hot. I was gonna do butter, but I was like, oh, I prefer to actually just like dip it into the soup, so. 
Mmm. Mmm. Okay. This needs to be a staple in my fridge because, like, this is perfect to go with soup and stuff. Wow. It's really, really good. It is now Friday, and I am currently racing against the clock right now. It's about five-ish? No, it's earlier. It's slightly earlier. I don't know where my phone is. I know I brought it, but I don't know where it is in this pile. But I'm currently racing against the clock much faster than I thought I would have to. But it's like, it looks like there's storm clouds coming, which is so weird since there's like no indication of rain or anything for today. But, oh wait, nope, it's supposed to start raining at five. Shoot. Okay, I gotta do this super fast. But anyways, I am shooting for a brand called Wine Nook. I'll show you guys their product in a second. It's actually really cool. It's made specifically for boxed wine, but it's like a little wine holder with like a spout that you can use for boxed wine if you just like want it to be a little bit more aesthetic or if you know you're going on like a picnic and you don't want to have an actual box of wine sitting out it's like this little case that you can put it in and serve your wine from which is actually pretty cool and they wanted a reel and i got this idea to do kind of like a picnic reel looking at the ocean because i know of a spot where i can probably get that done especially if it's about to rain i'm hoping like no one's gonna be over there since no one wants to like sit in rain except for me trying to make content but it's actually where trevor proposed i think i've taken you guys there once before and it's this hill that like literally looks over the ocean and it overlooks all of newport you can see like for miles and miles and miles it's a really really gorgeous view so i thought that it would be cute to do a little kind of like early sunset reel there of you know me having a little picnic with my wine nook so like i said i'm racing against the clock because i was noticing it was starting to get dark and now i know why because of the rain but i'll show you guys like all of the equipment that i bring with me whenever i have to shoot for myself i was debating like waiting until michelle and i were gonna shoot next but i really didn't want to take up our time doing this and this one is something that's so simple that i could just easily go ahead and do on my own i mean i don't even need to do my face like i have no makeup on i just got home from the gym rinsed off and then headed out so we're gonna see if we can get this done really quick before the rain comes. Like I said, it's, well now it's about 4.40 and I'm trying to get there as fast as I can. Luckily the spot is only like 10 minutes away, if that, and I'm hoping I can get this done super fast. The only problem is just like the whole setup and everything just takes a little while, but I think I can do it. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Okay, so here's the view, you guys. Like honestly, can you believe that? It's just, such a good view. Here's what I'm talking about. Like you guys can see, those are storm clouds over there. So this is gonna be tricky. Luckily, the direction that I'm shooting at is this way, so I can get some like nice cloud pictures. It might be a little bit dark, but I don't mind that. But this is definitely gonna be a problem. Hopefully I can get everything done before this like turns into more than just gloominess. I'm here, luckily, I mean, it looks kind of crowded, but I think most people are here for the beach, so that's good. Most people aren't gonna go where I'm gonna go, which is behind me, I have to do a little bit of a hike. Since I'm running low on time, I will give you guys like a rundown of all the equipment and stuff that I use to shoot content solo after I'm done. I just wanna make sure I can get this all done and situated so that hopefully I don't have to come back, but if I have to, then I have to. I don't know how well you can hear me. I know the wind's going, but this is the view. And Trevor proposed right down there. All right, so here's the setup. I spilled wine. I'm using my other tripod to hold down this little rug. And then I'm about to mount this camera over here. I had my extra camera, but it is out of battery, so I won't be able to time lapse for you guys exactly how I'm doing this, but I'm just gonna mount it. And I use the timer that's actually on my actual camera. Right, so I turned the camera vertically, coming around here, turn it on so I can frame the shot. This is a little bit trickier though because I need the wine nook Ooh, in the shot. It's a little bit dark this way, but oh, that's cute. Okay, I think that that'll be cute. Perfect. It looks like the rain isn't coming as fast as I thought it was, so I thought I'd go ahead and just hang out here for a second because this is actually kind of peaceful. Like the view is just stunning and I'm actually really enjoying this little setup. I was planning on not actually putting wine in here, but I forgot the vitamin water in my car, so. It's not a lot, like barely anything, so it's fine. It's fine, guys. 
but okay thought I'd just give you guys like a quick rundown of everything that I brought to shoot a alone and B just like specifically for this campaign I brought my Sigma 30 millimeter lens just because I try to shoot especially like when I'm working with a brand I try to shoot the best quality that I can and this lens is just like incredible you guys it's so good if you have a Sony camera one of the Sony alphas look into this lens because it's amazing the quality on it is just like out of this world it's what I shoot my sit down videos on so if you guys are wondering like why the sit down videos have better quality it's because I switched the lens out the lens that I'm using right now to vlog with is a wider which is why I prefer it for vlogging and this one is the lens that this camera came with oh my god I realized I never paid for parking hopefully they're not monitoring it but I do have the app on my phone don't take it me please so the other things that I bring to shoot with is I think I mentioned it I tried to use my camera but it's low on battery oh no now it's working great sorry guys I didn't get to like montage for you guys how I'm doing this but anyways it's fine so I bring this one in case I need like a secondary shot and then I bring my small tripod if I'm just working with this and my phone if I'm working with the larger camera I bring Patrice if you guys are new to my channel Patrice is my six foot tall tripod she is incredibly sturdy nothing is gonna knock this gal down so when I'm using this camera which is much more expensive than the other one and usually has the upgraded lens which obviously I don't want to bring either I put them on Patrice just so that that way I know they're anchored down to the ground and they're like nice and good and then I always put the lens in this like little bag it just helps to protect it and then specifically for this campaign so here is the wine nook so the bag of wine is inside and then the spout just comes out it comes from the bag itself I also brought this this was for the reel I think I mentioned I'm making a reel I just did like a little shot where I dip one of these everything pretzel crisps into this hummus which has crap in it now awesome it's going great this is going great guys just gonna put those away I also brought a book which I realized I need to take that real shot of and this book by the way this is Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert I really like this book I maybe made it through a third of the way through I just am terrible at finishing books it's not anything against the book the book itself is amazing I just took the cover off that's why it looks like this I brought my little wine glass I just did stemless because stemless is the only thing that can fit underneath the height of the spout and then on the ground I am sitting on this rug which I got wine on but it's not a huge deal this was five dollars at five below so it's totally fine and even though I stained that one part I'm okay with it because there's so much more real estate on the rest of this rug that I'm gonna like use as like backdrops for like flat lays and stuff so it was a good five dollar investment I'm not mad about it it's all good worse things in life can happen but yeah just having a little quick happy hour solo out here it's very nice there's the view again how pretty is that Woo! it's a draft yeah all my friends pulled up for good vibes we know that the good vibes could be gone to some back in the car I am freeze like my fingers are freezing right now but I got some good shots I also got some sunset shots I don't know if I'm gonna use them it's always like a question mark whether or not I'm gonna use a filler picture but we'll see I might the sky was stunning in a dark but colorful way so you know I might use it but anyways packing up and bringing all of that stuff and the wine nook down the hill that was a bitch I'm tired like my hands hurt I'm out of breath it was better than going uphill though I will say that I'm just gonna sit here for a second I have like 20 minutes left on my meter so I'm just gonna relax and look through the stuff I was gonna put together my reel but I need to grab one clip off of this camera so I can't like fully put it together but I can show you guys like kind of the beginning for it so the app that I used to make reels and TikToks is video show this is 
I think it's available on both Android and iPhone. I'm not entirely sure. This was just like the only one that I found that had all the features that I wanted. And then I do pay for it so that I don't get a watermark on the exported video. I have thought about switching to just doing everything on iMovie, but it's just kind of nice sometimes to be able to work from my phone. So I don't know. I'm up in the air about it but it's just like a very easy interface. It has basically everything that you need to make a reel or a TikTok. And FYI, if you guys wanna see how all of this stuff turns out, make sure you're following me on both TikTok and on Instagram. Obviously, like I said, this is a reel, so it's gonna be on Instagram, but I do tend to repurpose my reels for TikTok as well. And that's also part of the reason why I use a third-party editing system is because then I can create and render the video so that it doesn't have any watermark. Then I can upload it to both platforms and I don't, you know, have a TikTok watermark on my reel or an Instagram one on my TikTok. And you guys are running out of space. One second. So the way that this app works is when you hit edit video, it creates a new one for you and you can filter through videos and photos. And this one allows you to use photos as well, which I like a lot because if you make your video on reels, you can't use photos unless you can find some way to convert them into some kind of video. And also too, one thing I forgot to say about following me on Instagram and on TikTok, like I said, I do repurpose my reels and I put them on TikTok, but I don't always repurpose my TikToks into reels. Actually, I rarely do anything that's made specifically for TikTok. I don't repurpose it anywhere else. And there's like some funny stuff that I do. I also do like Trader Joe's favorites, Costco favorites, things like that. So if you're already following me on Instagram, which I hope you are, and you want to see that other content as well make sure to check out my TikTok but anyway so this pulls up both videos and photos and I can filter it I know that the only files I want to use are video I'll pop over to video and then once it loads I will pick all of the videos that I want to use for this reel so just selecting everything and then I hit next and then from there it drops it all in sometimes I need to turn them because it doesn't understand but what's nice about this is you can change the canvas size too so I can make sure that it'll do vertical and then when I go in I can fix that clip that for some reason it's recognizing as a horizontal video I just can rotate it so that's what I like about this is that I can rotate videos on my phone I can change the canvas size on my phone it's really nice so I'm just gonna put together what I can for right now like I said I need one clip for my camera but for right now let me work on these and then I'm gonna head home poor Spartacus I had wanted to bring him because I was just gonna be outside and stuff but that took so much effort so I'm glad that I didn't because poor guy would have either just had to stay in the car that whole time and I was up there for like a good half hour maybe 40 minutes and had I brought him with me, it would have been hard to concentrate on what I was doing because he would have gone antsy. He would have been roaming around, wanting to go somewhere. There was nothing to anchor him to. So I feel bad. That would have been like a nice thing to bring him to if Trevor wasn't working right now. I would have totally brought Spartacus and had Trevor just kind of like watch Spartacus as I did my own thing. But since I was by myself, it was just going to be like too much to handle. Hey, you guys, look at the fucking sky. I'm so glad that I sat here. I'm going to try to climb up to a higher view to get a better shot of this, but holy fucking shit like stunning i'm so sorry that the camera's shaking wow so talk about things working out for the best i got some fucking incredible shots of the sky it was so gorgeous i don't even know if the camera did it justice but i'll put some of the shots on the screen as i'm talking but oh my god i'm still in awe of just like how gorgeous it was unfortunately it's like going away very very quickly right now but there were also some like professional photographers up top where i was originally i guess they knew the timing of the sunset so i had seen them like running up next to me just maybe a couple minutes before the sky really got like that and i saw them up top on the hill that i was on when i was shooting my content when i ran out to go see if i could shoot some pictures but just like so incredible so glad that i like sat here for a minute because that was so stunning day one, day one. trying to spend the rest of my life with the same one same one ain't no i and t i'ma bring you good love just come with me baby you're all the company i need
singing all of me I'm just trying to be here forever Ain't no storm we can't weather When the sun goes down I'll still be around for you Saturday I just jumped out the shower and while I was showering I was marinating the cucumbers and the ahi tuna for this. This is the ahi tuna that I got in the Trader Joe's haul from earlier in this vlog. The sesame crusted one I believe is what it's called. So I just marinated it with just a little bit of soy sauce and ponzu and then you guys have seen me make these Asian pickled cucumbers before. It's literally just marinate them in rice wine vinegar and then top them off with some of these premium roasted sesame seeds. And then for the base I have brown rice but I made it like sushi rice style where I put in a little bit of that rice wine vinegar just to give it a little flavor and a little kick but I'm so excited to eat this this looks so freaking good but today mm -hmm. mm. Anyway, first off delightful second off today I am just chilling at home Trevor's working all day because I'm gonna work on filming a bunch of content that's why I washed my hair just to get ready for filming everything. I have a haul that I want to film, which is actually going to be the video going up before this video. It's going to be a 24 hour turnaround. Don't ask why I do this to myself. I just, I don't know why. I, I always do this, but whatever. Then I have another beauty video to film, but that's what I'm going to be doing most of the day. But afterwards is when I'm going to catch back up with you guys because I'm going to be working on a little project. If you guys saw last week's vlog, I got in a ton of stuff from Amazon. And one of the things that I got in were these clear acrylic Lazy Susans and I'm gonna use them to organize our damn spices. It's out of control in there and I can't wait for the pantry anymore. I really wanna organize it. Anyways, I am gonna eat my lunch. I'm gonna go watch an episode of The Resident, which I've been obsessed with. I just started it like maybe a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, and I'm already like halfway through season three. I am the very definition of a binge watcher, but yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my lunch, eat that, fill my stuff, and then we will meet back up and fix the spices in this pantry. Okay, so it's much later at night than I anticipated, and so we're gonna just get into this also to, geez, I gotta wipe that down. Sorry, guys. But here is the spices area. As you can see, it is not the most ideal situation for if I need to grab something from the back. This is what I was talking about in previous vlogs where I'm saying I'd have to knock everything down just to see. The idea is once we get the full pantry built, we're gonna remove all of this stuff and then we're gonna migrate this all over here so that you can easily reach for it as you're cooking but for right now i'm just gonna organize the area and get it properly situated so here are the lazy susans that i got from amazon as you can see they're just clear acrylic these are 10 and a half inches in diameter i believe so nice and big i think we can definitely fit pretty much everything on here which will be phenomenal and just a freaking miracle so i'm gonna get to working on taking everything out and organizing it in here and hopefully by the time we're done this situation will be under control because that's pretty bad <laughs> God, you guys I think my life is forever changed wow this is so so much better than what I was dealing with before it's not ideal that part of this is sitting behind here but 
like I said, this whole thing's going to shift anyways once the pantry comes in. So on this first rack, this is all of like our dry spices and seasonings, things like bay leaves, everything but the bagel seasoning, smoked paprika. And then back here I have some refills on like parsley flakes and also some Himalayan salt. We don't use this very often, so we just keep it in here instead of out there. I have my za'atar seasoning, the citrusy garlic seasoning, which you guys, I tried this on shrimp, it's fire. But yeah, just all of our dry spices and stuff. And then over here, this is kind of like a mix of some of the baking stuff. You know, we have baking powder here, vanilla extract, mint extract. This is some food coloring. And then I have my instant coffee back there from when I was making the TikTok iced coffees. I feel like I kind of want to make that again relatively soon, not sure yet. But then besides that, we also have all of the more, I guess, like liquid flavors. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to categorize this, but things like maple syrup, soy sauce. I do have three soy sauces actually, but that's because I have a problem. Balsamic vinegar. Oh, I should actually switch this out because we use the red wine vinegar more. I try to keep it so that things we don't use as often go in the center. And then the things that I reach for a lot, particularly red wine vinegar, if you can't tell, I am trying to keep that more towards the front. And then Trevor uses this for when he makes his coffee. That's just some caramel syrup, some hot sauce. That's obviously for Trevor or soy sauce. Like I said, I have a problem. And then I have amino acids back there. But yeah, this is so much better. I just like, I feel like this is so much less congested and I feel relieved actually. And I have two spices that unfortunately didn't fit. I have the truffle Parmesan garlic seasoning from Costco that I talked about. I think it was in my February favorites. And then this is just some roasted sesame seeds. I love this stuff. This stuff's the best. If ever you guys are gonna make an Asian dish, make sure to get this because it just adds so much flavor and it's just, amazing. Also too, while I was organizing all of those, I pulled out all of the spices and seasonings and stuff that I suspected might be expired or done for. Basically anything that like I couldn't squeeze, it doesn't move or budge or anything like that, I figured was probably done for. <laughs> right, so I hope you guys enjoyed organizing this with me. I know that I feel great after doing that, but I am going to work on my Princess Polly Spring Trends haul video right now. It needs to go up tomorrow morning. I literally filmed it today. Less than 24 hours turnaround, but you got to do what you got to do. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I ain't flexing like these bitches do. You could see it in my pictures, bitches, nothing new. I ain't talking about my revenue. Bless with every second that I get to do. Exactly what I dreamed of when I was a little kid. It's a dream, never thought I would get to live. So now I ain't trying to catch up to you. All I can be is authentic, you gon' get the truth. It's the truth, hey, I ain't really got no pain. I don't wear no chain. You know when you see me around town, let me do my thing. I don't really pop no tags, really got no sweat. But if you need something, I probably got it in my Louis. I got it, I got it, that's what you got it. I got it, yes, I do. Every you for me, I'm lonely without my Louis. Louis, on me, I ain't dripping ice. No new freezer, but I'm trying to live life. Every day say oh, I wanna leave it Can't name my price But I'm riding in a Beamer Yeah, yeah, ain't no two-seater Happy Sunday, you guys. So I just finished my brunch, my little protein pancakes, and they were absolutely delicious. We're back in the kitchen again because I really just want to kind of like purge our kitchen. I feel like I just want to do a full-on deep clean in here getting rid of the expired spices and stuff yesterday and organizing all that just kind of motivated me to probably just dig in and actually get this place sparkling clean and throw out any like foods and stuff that are expired we're not really going to use all of that stuff so i'm going to work on doing that today first step though with the dishes because it's just like one of those things like if there's stuff in the sink then i'm not going to end up cleaning like the other stuff you know that feeling like when your sink is so full of just a huge mess and all this crap and it makes you just not even want to deal with the kitchen that's where it's at right now so i'm gonna work on that first and then yeah get around to like 
deep cleaning, wiping and sanitizing all of the surfaces, then kind of going through the cabinets and stuff to see what we can get rid of, especially for when we finally have the side panels for the pantry and build it. I just want to kind of give us a fresh start clean it out so that we can start with like the best possible setup in there. But first, kind of embarrassing, I was editing in our recliner and it was just slightly rocking. So now I have motion sickness just from editing a video. So weird. But I'm taking a ginger shot. This one is from Trader Joe's. I love their ginger shots. I try to keep some of these on hand for, you know, like just in case I go out or something and I'm hungover the next day. I feel like these do tend to help a little bit with nausea, but obviously too comes in handy when you're just motion sick from sitting in a chair working on your computer. <sighs> That's strong. Hold up, hold up. Tell me what the hold up is. I'm a little sport. I'll be the first to admit it. I'm not used to laying low about my feelings. Tell the world or write a book. When I'm finished, I should thank your mama. Yeah, yeah. Look at what she made. Okay, so I'm tired and my hands and back hurt. So I'm just gonna call it a day here, stop here. I think I made a ton of progress. Let me show you guys. I wiped down all the surfaces and magic erased everything. I did like a two part process where I just wiped it down with a paper towel and then I went in with the magic eraser. Actually three part process because I feel like the magic eraser definitely breaks stains down and stuff and kind of gets it out of there but I feel like it just kind of pushes everything around. So I feel like you always need to go back in with a paper towel afterwards to soak and absorb everything up. So that's what I did. The only thing that I did differently was on the stove where I went in with an actual surface cleaning spray just because the stuff on here is cooked on and it just needs like a little bit of extra help usually. <laughs> you... oh I was in the middle of showing them what I did when you came home so live reaction from Trevor. <laughs> this looks amazing! <laughs> There's so much room for activity. I, I literally moved all the appliances and just like deep cleaned everything. So, yeah. He said, Dad, are you getting kisses? What a happy dog. Oh, you, buddy. Trevor's already messing it up. <laughs> so just really quick. Yeah, I just deep cleaned everything. So I even like magic erased the entire oven, but 
the paint's peeling and stuff and it's like rusting in some places so that's why it doesn't look pristine we have really old appliances in here because i i don't think they've upgraded this place in oh. years yeah but yeah cleaned everything up i was gonna get into the pantry and the fridge and stuff and throw stuff out but i'm too tired right now so this is where we're at Ooh, i'm gonna magic erase this in a second but yeah looks really good good job buddy thank you for helping me